So as you can guess from my accent, I'm from Singapore, and Singapore has its own national university called, you will never guess it, the National University of Singapore, or NUS for short, and they have hosted a Team Xiangqi tournament in 2022, and I joined, so here is the recap. Okay, so because I got in trouble being associated, I would need to call the school I was representing Redacted. I also have three other teammates, let me try to intro them. Okay, we have our captain who isn't really great at the game. At that point in time, his openings are memorized while he blunders in mid-game and dies in the end game. He is generally chill for the most part. Next we have P who is a long time friend of mine. He is also a slacker that doesn't train as hard but I couldn't beat him at all last time. If I remember correctly, he blunders in the openings, holds onto the middle ga mid game for the dear life and crushes people in end games. He is also very unique to say the very least. Lastly we have B. B just joined the club and is there for the CCA points. He is probably the one that will get the club cancelled due to his controversial statements. And in terms of his skills, he is slightly worse than the captain but in terms of his ego, his, his is larger than Jupiter. Let's just say this won't end well. So before the tournament, both B and my captain said they were there for the experience whereas my naive brain thought me and P could carry our team to not being in the bottom half. This was also the, time, the first time I joined a team tournament, so there was that sense of excitement. Now here comes problem number one. The location was at NUS itself, which is relatively far for all of us to get to. I was lucky that my parents were kind enough to drive me there, but the rest had to take the subway to get there. So on the competition day itself, I heard from P where a former CC mate of mine was joining the competition. I had my doubts, as the last I had heard from her, was that she went to JC, a place filled with hellfire, suffering and overall stressful experience. After arriving at the venue just on time, I saw P and my captain there. Pop quiz time, who was missing out from the four of us? Yeah, B was going to be late, but how long? Only God to know. At this time, we were focused on asking B to hurry the fuck up before we were member down in the competition. Before long, the arbiter started explaining the rules of this competition. Essentially, it is a 7 round Swiss team competition where every team will be playing 7 rounds and the total points will be all of its players' cumulative points. So, for you to get a win in one round, you will need at least 2 wins and a draw for each player, or 3 draws and a win. We are also using the Asian rules, which means when your general is in danger and you don't move it away or block it, you lose. Consecutive checks or consecutive chasing of a pieces aren't allowed as well. And now, finally, B arrives. When he did arrive, the match pairings were already out and we were against our first opponent, Raffles Institution. Here's a fun fact about Raffles Institution. They are one of the top schools in Singapore. Their students are no slouch and are the cream of the crop of Singapore. This won't be an easy fight, but we have to try our best to defeat them. As we sat down, P and B were making some jokes to lighten the mood, but we knew this would be our greatest enemy. And in front of us were empty seats here. Only our captain had an opponent from Raffles as he explained that his mates ghosted him from this competition. Yikes. So he suggested playing against us all simultaneously. This was of course not allowed since this was supposed to be a team tournament. So P, B, me and me just waited for 10 minutes before getting the easy dub for not having an opponent. Meanwhile our captain fought valiantly but he still lost so my condolences. B started to mock our captain for being the only one in our team to lose. Captain paid no mind to his childish insults. Before long, our match pairing for round 2 was revealed. Current score 1-0. Round 2, it was us against NTU. To be fair, I have never played against a university team before, so I had no way of gauging their skill. This time they had only 3 members, with B getting his second win. The rest of us weren't so lucky. I was playing raid and playing my casual middle cannon opening with the chariot guarding the river. My opponent who also knew this theory also played according to the theoretical plays. If I remember correctly, I was on the 7th move but I was at a cross mode of what move to make. I could have continued playing the main line with both of us being relatively even or I could be innovative and play something completely different. Like the redacted student I was, I chose innovation and played a completely different move. That move was a blunder. I lost the knight and several moves in, I lost the game. My opponent and I did a post game review where he asked me why did I not continue the line. I just told him I thought my move was better than his. Anyway, after my loss, Captain soon lost. Only P was left standing, fighting for our draw. His clock ran low with 3 minutes left. 
while his opponent had 50 minutes. His playstyle was just holding on until he could take advantage of opponent's blunders. Unfortunately, his opponent didn't blunder and lost the game for being timed out. Current score 1 1. Now we are against the NUS Team A. All four of our opponents are present now. Right off the bat, within 5 minutes of the game starting, B had lost the game. So we were 1 in the down. In my own game, I blundered my cannon and the game soon became impossible to win. I was just still holding on to dear life, hoping that my opponent would blunder. During this long fight of just holding on, Captain lost, leaving us with me and P left. Finally, I also lost my game with his precise attack to end the game. Meanwhile, P held on, strong without losing. Eventually, his opponent blundered a checkmate sequence, allowing him to come back and win the game. Unfortunately, with our score being 1-3, we lost this round. Current score, 1-2. Now, this is a good time for us to end this video as we had a lunch break between round 3 and round 4. As such, thank you for watching this video and do watch part 2 next week. Thank you and goodbye.